Uh, it was win tomorrow. I think that's the biggest thing. Um, you know, it's uh, meaningful points, and tomorrow is a big game. That's where we're looking at right now is tomorrow, and um, win that, and then move on. <laughs> yeah, go to the next one. Is it is it tricky? How do you maintain belief on the bench during third periods when you're trailing by goal? Like, how do you keep the energy up on the bench in those situations? No, there is. I think uh, you know. I think we we know how desperate we need to be and how you know, how desperate we are. I think. Uh, you know, we got a late one there to, to claw back into the game and, and, and have a chance. And every guy here is desperate. Every guy wants to be in the playoffs. That's your goal at the start of the year. And it's come down to the wire here. And um, yeah, every guy's feeling that and, and wants to put their best out every single game to try and get it. And that's our goal as a team from man to man to you know, look at each other and try and bring your best every, every single day for these nine, nine games remaining. Did the task does it feel bigger after? Last night, obviously, it didn't uh, result both here and, and out of town. Didn't it have to go your guys' way? Yeah, you know, I don't think we were going to win 10 in a row. So, um, you know, there's one here and there. We just know we have to be really good down the stretch here in these games. Um, it's been mentioned a couple times throughout this year with the coming of new players and integrating new personalities that that has been some sort of challenge. And remember earlier really, you were mentioning chemistry. From your vantage point, being in the locker room, where would you say that issue of integrating all these new personalities and getting everyone to mesh ranks in terms of, I guess, the list of things that have unfortunately gone wrong for you guys this year? No, I don't think so, to be honest. I think this is, uh, we've got a lot of a lot of leaders on this team, guys who've been in the league for a long time, a lot of Stanley Cups in this room. Um, you know, it could have been a factor at the start of the year with chemistry, guys not playing with each other for, you know, some guys never played together, guys played together quite a bit. Um, I think it's more so start of the year now. I think this team's really close together, and um, you know, it's uh, we have a really good locker room in here. Um, apologize for changing the subject and jumping ahead a couple of games. It's a Pride Night here in a couple in a, in a couple of days. It's been a huge topic of conversation around the league. Have you guys talked about it? Do you have any sort of plans in terms of you know how to show the LGBTQ plus community that they're sort of welcoming hockey? Yeah, no, we're here to we're here to support it for sure, and I think. Um, you know, our organization is from staff members to fans to players in the league. Um, you know, kids through minor hockey are here to support everyone. And, um, you know, there hasn't been too much talk. I think everyone's on the same page here. And, um, you know, for me personally, I'm, um, you know, support it and, and you know, want all of our fans and, and everyone here to, you know, to feel comfortable and, and feel welcomed here. And, you know, we, us players, want to be a part of that. Any thoughts on how it's unfortunately turned into a story with how certain players have decided to opt out? Any general thoughts on, on that? No, uh, no, that's their, uh, you know, that's more of a question for those players. For me, I'm here to support it. Dylan, you're always really good at providing perspective on this sort of stuff. Can you put in perspective 900 games in one jersey for Michael Backlund tomorrow? Um, yeah, yeah, he's a guy you come into the rink you look up to. I think uh, it's crazy that he's been here the whole time and, um, you know, one of the best professional humans I've been around to take care of himself. And not even that, I think away from the rink uh, in this community. Um, you know, you say that a, a lot about guys, but can't have to emphasize enough on how important he is to this city and to this team. He's... Um, he, yeah, he's a guy who cares so deep about his team and, and this city that um, you come in every day and you look up to him and you want to follow him. And um, you know, I know for a lot of younger guys like Manj and, and Razzie and I, I think you know he's helped us out a lot. And uh, if we can be here for a long time, you want to basically be exactly what he's been for this organization. He, he doesn't hold a grudge that he took his fittest flame title. <laughs> well, yeah, I think uh, yeah. I, have some pride on that one. <laughs> <laughs>